Hello and welcome. My name is Lloyd Rang and I'm the uh, board chair of Redeemer University. I want to welcome uh, President Graham, our faculty, our staff, our friends, our viewers, and most importantly, graduates. I am also a graduate of Redeemer University, class of 1989, which means only one thing. I am uniquely unsuited to give any graduate any kind of practical advice. Because when I graduated from this place, the paint was still drying. Ancaster was mostly farmer's fields and a couple of gas stations. And the internet, well, that was uh, uh, something a few of us geeks knew about, but didn't really necessarily capitalize on. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be standing here today. And your parents, well, your parents were sitting probably where you are now or walking these halls uh, with really bad 80s hair, I might add. The world of 1989 has very little to teach the world of 2020. Climate change was something that happened when your housemate messed around with a the thermostat. Diversity meant having both Dutch and Frisian students on campus. The world that we were entering as graduates was vastly different from the one that faces you. And so I have no practical advice to give you. But I do have some impractical advice to give you. That is to say, I have some advice that I learned at this place, actually. And I'm probably in big trouble from President Graham for saying that what I learned here is impractical. But let me spell it out. I have two impractical things to pass along to you. The first is this. If you're looking for direction on your next steps, pray for guidance. There is no practical value to that. There's no one-to-one, -one measurable, quantifiable, objective relationship between prayer and success. But I have an impractical faith that it works. When I was a student here, I spent every day praying. And I mean every day. For God to direct my life, to shape me according to his purpose, and to use my talents to direct, or to use my talents to direct my career. And it's been a remarkable journey, and I've been allowed to travel the world and serve my country. The second piece of impractical advice is this. If you're looking for knowledge, be prepared to forget what you know. Studies tell us that the life of a practical or a technical skill is only about four years which means that the obsolescence of your experience is just around the corner. But what will endure are the soft skills, your ability to learn and to always be learning and to research and to lead and to listen and to dream and to think, all of which you learned here. And those are the things that will set you on your way. Redeemer University from the beginning has been a place that has set graduates on their way with a mission and a purpose. So live with that. Live with a sense of purpose and mission, with love, ultimately, a deep and abiding love for creation, for the people around you, and a desire to give love to the communities that you serve. In my highly impractical experience, our greatest responsibility is to show the face of God and pass along the love of God to everyone we meet and in everything we do, no exceptions. So by all means, continue to learn for life and develop your mind because you will need it. But as it says in Proverbs 4, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. So may God continue to inspire your heart for service in his world. And may you continue to guard that most precious gift in the years to come. I'd like to open with a word of prayer. Dearest God, bless those who are graduating from this place in this year. Bless the years ahead of them and each footstep along their way. Give them clarity of purpose, a sense of mission, and above all, love. Love for your marvelous and beautiful world as they walk upon it. Love for each and every soul they encounter as they travel. And love for you, through whom and because of whom all good things are possible. Amen. Mr. President, I recommend to you the graduates who have met the requirements for their degrees as established by Senate 
and are receiving their degrees in absentia. Graduands, on behalf of Senate, it is my privilege to confer on you your degrees in absentia with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to those degrees. Bachelor of Arts, Combined Honors. Gregory Nathan Lortz, History and Political Science, English Writing Stream. Bachelor of Arts, Honors. Megan Victoria Andrews, Psychology Honors, Clinical Stream, Religion and Theology. Joshua Timothy Ald, Business Management Stream. Rebecca Nicole Bowerman, International Studies, International Development Stream. Lynn A. Brulsma, International Studies, International Development Stream. Audrey Dorothea Judith Bryan, English Literature Stream. Nathaniel S. DeFries, Religion and Theology, International Studies. Ethan Christopher Dielstra, Applied Social Sciences, Social Work Stream. Michael Ferreira, Business Management Stream. Rosemary Fritz, Business Accounting Stream Cooperative Education. Jane Amelia Lindy Gillard, International Studies, International Development Stream. Elizabeth Abigail Graham, Psychology, Clinical Stream. Noah Douglas Brock Grant, International Studies, International Development Stream. Nicholas H. M. Green, Business Management Stream. Cassandra Joy Heidbert, Psychology, Clinical Stream. Marissa Riley Kirkhoff, Applied Social Sciences, Social Work Stream, Psychology. Caitlin Cummins, English, Literature Stream. Justin Arthur Lenters, Business, Management Stream. Samuel Lim Yong Ji, Psychology, Clinical Stream, Applied Social Sciences. Rena May Look to Guide, Applied Social Sciences, Social Work Stream. Grace N. Rabali, Psychology, Experimental Stream. Rihanna Nicole Rosenthal, Psychology, Clinical Stream, English Literature Stream. David Mackenzie Rowlandson, English Writing Stream. Jonathan Paul Rosma, Media and Communication Studies, Media and Culture Stream. Aidan Frederick Prinzen Schatt, Business, Accounting Stream, Cooperative Education. Megan Lillian Schenk, Business, Management Stream, Cooperative Education. Wesley Michael Skilstra, Business, Management Stream, Cooperative Education. Liam Jacob Slechter, Psychology, Clinical Stream. Nathan James Slutes, Psychology, Clinical Stream, Physical Education. Catalia Yvonne J.C. Sorensen, French History. Stephen Mark Vanandel, Business 
Accounting Stream, Cooperative Education. Braden Van Dyke, Business, Accounting Stream, Cooperative Education. Ashley Joy Van Harmelen, Psychology, Clinical Stream. Kristen Adriana Van Til, Business, Accounting Stream, Cooperative Education. Colin E. Venema, Business, Accounting Stream, Cooperative Education. Krista Wheeler, Applied Social Sciences, Social Work Stream. Kelly Lynn Weeb, History, Biblical and Theological Studies. Abigail Grace Williams, English, Writing Stream. Megan Woolsey, Psychology, Clinical Stream. Amy Lee Wright, Psychology, Clinical Stream. Maria and Elise Zeckveld, Applied Social Sciences, Social Work Stream. Bachelor of Arts, Four Year Major. Jacob Meyer, Business, Management Stream. Carrie Williams, Business, Management Stream, Politics, and International Studies. Bachelor of Arts, Four-Year General. Lauren Jana Benedictus, Psychology, Applied Social Sciences. Kenan Casey Benjamins, Philosophy, Politics, and International Studies. Sharon Elizabeth Benjamins, Psychology, English Writing Stream. Hannah Burney, Art. Corinne Michaela Bloomfield, Theater Arts, Performance, English Writing Stream, Religion and Theology. Joanna S. Bodini, Theater Arts. Charles Lewis Brenninkmeyer, Psychology, Religion, and Theology. Toby K. Brinkman, Applied Social Sciences, Psychology. Eric G. Brower, Political Science, Philosophy. Daniel Christian Calillo, International Studies. Zachariah Chester, Media and Communications, Digital Media and Production Stream. Daniel Calillo, International Studies. Alexis Carrington Colby, Applied Social Sciences. Joshua DeCosti, Media and Communication Studies, Digital Media and Production Stream, Environmental Studies. Jamie Duther, Physical Education. Olivia Ellens, Sociology. Kendra Fournier, English Literature Stream. Adriana Bree Gardiner, English Writing Stream. Heidi Naomi Goud. English Literature Stream, History. Drew David Graham, Psychology, Philosophy. Caleb Michael Brock Grant, Physical Education. Nicole Renee Hamstra, History. Brooklyn Debaratz Jade Heintzman, Art. Caitlin Renee Homan, Applied Social Sciences. Janelle Hout, Psychology. Calvin David Hutton, Music. 
Heather Leanne Janssens, Theater Art Performance, Media and Communication Studies, Digital Media, and Production Stream. Rachel Marlene Clute, Applied Social Sciences. Megan Alexandria Kluber, International Studies. Charlotte Barbara Cole, Media and Communication Studies, Digital Media and Production Stream, Art. Lauren Grace Lertz, Psychology. Abigail R. McEwen, Business. Sarah McGibbon, English, Writing Stream, Art. Sarah Maneri, Psychology, Philosophy. Joseph Benedict Momborquette, English, Literature Stream. Isabel Sage Moyano, Religion and Theology, Youth Ministry, English, Literature Stream. Annika Rose Murley, Religion and Theology, Philosophy. Sarah Lynn Murphy, Psychology, Art. Brian Nagel, English, Literature Stream. Kara Linda Nash, Applied Social Sciences. Rebecca Joy Nash, Physical Education. Dana Carol Lynn Plant, Psychology. Daniel James Ray, English, Literature Stream. Chloe Pauline Savage, Religion and Theology, Youth Ministry. Levi Schenk, History, Religion and Theology. Bennett G. Sonnen, Music, Philosophy. William John Tobocco, Religion and Theology, Philosophy. Erica Lynn Tenhove, French, Psychology. Jeremy Rejoy Thudian, Media and Communication Studies, Digital Media and Production Stream, Religion and Theology. Brianne Vandeven, English, Writing Stream. Lauren Vandenberg, English, Literature Stream. Abhishek Matthew Varghese. Media and Communication Studies, Digital Media and Production Stream. Ali Elizabeth Voskamp, Psychology. George Gregory Wastel, Art, French. Shailen J. Westendorp, Psychology. Nicholas Frederick Wauda, History, Philosophy. Bachelor of Science, Honors. Larissa A. Bauman, Kinesiology. Joshua Bloomberg, Kinesiology. Tina Marie Cook, Health Sciences. Daniel Mark Grutenbohr, Kinesiology. Kyle William Hiltz, Biochemistry. Ashley Mobby, Kinesiology. Joelle McCann, Kinesiology. Christine Eubin Na, Kinesiology. Masozi Palata, 
Health Sciences, Pre-Medicine Stream. Joel Carlisle Spooner, Kinesiology. Esther Sophia Vandermeulen, Mathematics. Carly Vanderlaan, Kinesiology. Bachelor of Science, four-year major. Jesse Glenn Hallowell, Environmental Science. Bachelor of Science, four-year general. Rachel Joyce Dawn, Mathematics, Music. Chantel Ashley Flemings, Health Sciences. Ryan Donald Hatt, Biology. Amy Rose Cummins, Chemistry, Biology. Patricia Charlene Langman, Chemistry. Aaron Lowen, Health Sciences. Johannes Meiring, Environmental Science. Emmanuel Simpa Moses, Mathematics. Jonathan Dirk Dykhaus Parabom, Biology. Melissa D. Pohl, Environmental Science. Bachelor of Arts Honors and Bachelor of Education. Carlise Marie Mezicek, French, Junior Intermediate Division. Bachelor of Arts, Four-Year General and Bachelor of Education. Jonathan Arthur James Robinson. History, Religion and Theology, Primary Junior Division. Bachelor of Science, Four-Year General and Bachelor of Education. Lisa Ann DeBoer, Mathematics, Junior Intermediate Division. Graham Vanderward, Mathematics, Junior Intermediate Division. Bachelor of Education. Christine Elizabeth Bain, Primary Junior Division. Mazen Jane Baukis, Primary Junior Division. Brandon Leslie Bodo, Junior Intermediate Division. Christina Bortolusi, Primary Junior Division. Bradley Bowen, Primary Junior Division. Claudia Calvis, Junior Intermediate Division. Francesco Serino, Primary Junior Division. Jason Yusum Chan, Junior Intermediate Division. Patrick A. Chiaramella, Primary Junior Division. Francesco Satino, Primary Junior Division. Myrna Claudius, Primary Junior Division. Dennis Colauti, Primary Junior Division. Tracy Ann Cooper, Primary Junior Division. Ailish Elizabeth Corbett, Junior Intermediate Division. Marielle Azucina De Castro, Primary Junior Division. Taylor John De Schiffert, Junior Intermediate Division. Alexander Paul DeSantis, 
Junior Intermediate Division. Alyssa D. Cesar, Primary Junior Division. Sarah Fattori, Primary Junior Division. Melissa Dawn Fellows, Primary Junior Division. Tesla Nicole Felice, Primary Junior Division. Raina Hawash, Junior Intermediate Division. Samane Hosseini, Primary Junior Division. Valentina Jothanayagam, Primary Junior Division. Melissa Elizabeth Kens, Primary Junior Division. Julia Marie Keogh, Junior Intermediate Division. John Gerald Kirstein, Primary Junior Division. Gary Andrew Koch, Junior Intermediate Division. Milka Kostich, Junior Intermediate Division. Emily Michelle Lorimer, Primary Junior Division. Kyle Daniel Mars, Junior Intermediate Division. Danny Marie Carson Mailer, Junior Intermediate Division. Ariana Mariella, Primary Junior Division. Melissa Nicole Martin, Junior Intermediate Division. Melissa Francesca Morrow, Primary Junior Division. Jocelyn Christine Newhouse, Primary Junior Division. Jenna Orofiyama, Primary Junior Division. Alexandra Pia Paris, Primary Junior Division. Jane Passell, Primary Junior Division. Julia Lynn Pavlik, Primary Junior Division. Corey Persall, Primary Junior Division. Jessica Lynn Pizzoferrato, Primary Junior Division. Jennifer Ann Plenderleith, Primary Junior Division. Cheryl Joy Pokoki, Primary Junior Division. Conchetta Margaret Roche, Junior Intermediate Division. Johanna I. Felia Rojas, Primary Junior Division. Kelsey Lee Rusink. Primary Junior Division. Hess Salolbi, Junior Intermediate Division. Bianca Salvino, Primary Junior Division. Emily Laura Sampson, Primary Junior Division. Eustachio Stephen Scandifio, Primary Junior Division. Jessica Allison Skiltice, Primary Junior Division. Brendan Anthony Peter Sheridan, Junior Intermediate Division. Paisley May Spring, Primary Junior Division.
Natalia Stoyadinovich, Junior Intermediate Division. Ali Sukru, Primary Junior Division. Francesco Testa, Primary Junior Division. Lindsay Nicole Valletta, Primary Junior Division. Malin Pernilla Vandermeer, Primary Junior Division. Justina Corian Vinmanen, Junior Intermediate Division. Julianne Alicia Van Pelt, Primary Junior Division. Renata Russo Varro, Primary Junior Division. Christine Lynn Verbensky, Primary Junior Division. Olympia Wasley, Primary Junior Division. Sarah Alexandra Webb, Primary Junior Division. Adriana Westerhoff, Junior Intermediate Division. Christina Whalen, Primary Junior Division. Colton Lee Wolf. Junior Intermediate Division. Rebecca Lucia Zankowicz, Primary Junior Division. Congratulations to the class of 2020. What an exciting day. It's a day to look back on your time at Redeemer, acknowledging how far you've come, think, thinking about the lessons you've learned, um, being grateful for all the relationships you formed and fostered and the experiences you have had over the years. My name is Leanna Nightingale, and I am the Alumni Association President. I graduated just a few years ago. I know this graduation experience is not what you thought it would have been. Uh, this whole year is not what anyone anticipated. Yet still we stand here, thankful for God's blessings in this season, a time to challenge current norms and to be intentional about thinking about how we wish to impact those around us. COVID won't stop our joy or recognizing the feat of what you have done here today. So today we celebrate. We celebrate the time in which we celebrate the time you've spent here and the closing of this chapter. Today we are officially commemorating your transition to the Redeemer alumni community. You now belong to a vibrant community of over 6,000 alumni who are transforming communities and culture where God is calling them. You will have many opportunities to stay connected um, with Redeemer through networking events, mentoring programs, alumni choir, our alumni e newsletter, and eventually you can join us for our 10, 20, and 30 year reunion. We just celebrated virtually, of course, the classes of 1990, 2000, and 2010. It was amazing to connect with these classes and see how Redeemer still remains an influential part of their lives. As you go from this special place, I encourage you to take a step back. Think about the first day you entered here on campus. Think about how you've grown over the last several years. What has God taught you? How has he shaped you? Now into, now into thinking into the future, um, where is he leading? For some of us, that could be clear, but for others, this will be a journey of discovering. Whatever that looks like, my greatest prayer for you is that you may follow the Lord and serve him in the calling he has placed on your life. As you begin writing your next chapter, we encourage you to share your story with us. Stay connected and continue to be a part of the Redeemer community for years to come. On behalf of the Redeemer Alumni Association, we are grateful to be a small detail in the story of your graduation day and can't wait to see your next chapter. And so as I end, end the speech, I would just like to send you off with a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God give you grace not to sell yourself short. Grace to risk something big for something good. Grace to remember that the world is now too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. 
May God take your mind and think through it. May God take your lips and speak through them. May God take your hands and work with them. May God take your heart and set it on fire. Good morning to faculty, staff, guests, all viewers, and my fellow graduates. This is of course by no means the way we would have imagined when we started at Redeemer two, four, five, and even six years ago, the way the journey would end. To find ourselves now 10 months into a worldwide pandemic that is separating friend from friend and even family from family is something completely unbelievable. Yet, here we are, given a wonderful opportunity to come together in a sense of community in a time of uncertainty to celebrate something that is certain. Graduates, no matter where you find yourselves in this moment, you can celebrate that your years of work have paid off and you are a university grad. So to you, I truly say congratulations and thank you for letting me speak and represent you all in this moment. To sum up my six years at Redeemer in the five minutes they have given me is going to be one crazy challenge, especially because of how much I love to talk, as many of you know. No matter where you walked on the grounds of Redeemer, whether it was the halls, the classrooms, the gyms, the courts, the fields, the dorms, the stage, and many other spaces, all of them hold one thing in common, stories. Stories of the times you pulled that first all-nighter to complete, to complete the Religion 101 journals that we all procrastinated on. The stories of late night chats in the dorms about life, the stories of dorm shenanigans, the stories of the game winning shot that kept your season alive, the stories of the final crunch for you to be ready for opening night or that last paper or final exam, the stories that are now a part of your story, no matter where, no matter how, or no matter what you were involved in. We are all a part of a story that is now a part of the story of Redeemer's legacy. Whether you were here one, two, three, four, five, or six years, I want you all to know you will have impacted someone's life and become a part of their story. I know that to be true for my story. Being at Redeemer for six years I have had the amazing opportunity to walk, learn, and grow beside the best people of my life. To any of you who started here with me in 2014, great work persevering and pursuing higher education for six years that we never thought would end. To those who started in 2016, congratulations on persevering and being the first wave of students to embark into Redeemer's new core program. Thank you for your patience, your time, and your energy to help improve that with every year you continued on. And to my fellow education students, what a great time it was. Cramming for weeks and long hours to get through those crazy six weeks of courses, at times wishing for more days to fit it all in. At least we had the potlucks and the laughs to push us on through to the end, where the dream was finally coming true to the classrooms we would go to spread great cheer with maybe just a little fear. Life was full of excitement no matter where any of us grads stood, bracing ourselves for the end of this part of the story. It is here though that I try not to dwell, for what was the hardest part of my journey is another part of the story we all share all too well. As grads, we were all preparing for the end of another chapter in our stories and starting to look ahead to the next chapter, wherever it was going. Right in the middle of all the excitement, of the plans of the future, of the joy of celebrating huge accomplishments in and out of the classroom, the world stopped. Redeemer was closed, the campus emptied, and the year up in limbo. For many of you, the opportunity to spend time with friends and celebrate the end of another year was just stripped away. Yet, in light of all this, you all persevered, along with all of our professors and school staff to make it possible for us all to be graduates here. For that amazing accomplishment, celebrate it. 
and be thankful that even though the story took a dramatic turn, it did not come to an end. The story, no matter where you find yourself, is still unfolding before you and is ready to be embraced. Now, no matter how that story looks at this moment, because of the uncertainty in which we live, there is one aspect we all share that will never change. It is at this time that I wish to share with you some verses that encourage me to write what I have said. Found in Romans chapter 8, verse 35 and 37 to 39, it says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No. In all these things, we are, are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. I know right now that the story seems more unclear than ever before. But we share this truth that nothing can separate us from Christ. He is the author of life and the true author of the story of our lives. He holds the pen and writes the pages in which you live. And even though everything seems so bleak, you all are more than conquerors over everything this life has to give. That includes where we are right now. That even though we are miles apart, we are all living embodiments of the truth that Christ is authoring a story greater than we all can comprehend. A story in which we all have a role. A story in which we all can find great joy. Though the present and the future are so uncertain, I encourage you all to step into your story and live out where God and Redeemer have been preparing you to be a light to the world. It is my prayer that you find that story, and that our paths will again cross someday soon. Until that day, may God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen, and thank you all again for this opportunity. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. My name is Dr. Jonathan Jolfs, Associate Professor of English and University Marshal. It is my privilege today to present the Faculty Award. The Faculty Award was established by the Redeemer Senate in 1989 it is awarded annually upon recommendation of the faculty to the member of the graduating class who best exemplifies academic excellence, Christian leadership, and active participation in the life of Redeemer. The Class of 2020 Faculty Award winner is Mr. Aidan Shad. Aidan graduates with a 10.932 GPA, having completed his degree in Business Honors Accounting in the Cooperative Education Program. He has served as a teaching assistant in the business department for four years, contributed feedback on business cases submitted for publishing by members of the business faculty, and mentored other student teaching assistants. Aiden also served as a tutor for four years, including while he was on co-op work terms, demonstrating his willingness to help and encourage students who may be struggling. In sum, he has demonstrated his leadership skills and work ethic both inside and outside the formal classroom. Writing about him, one of Aiden's professors characterizes him as, quote, a strong academic performer who thrives on opportunities to engage other students, a young man with a heart for Christ and ready for his service. We congratulate Aiden on this achievement and pray for God's blessings upon him as he pursues his calling in the kingdom. Congratulations, Aiden. In 1873, the Earl of Dufferin, who served as Governor General from 1872 to 1878, 
decided to have a medal struck to reward scholastic merit. The medal has four levels. Gold for study at the master's level, silver for study at the bachelor's level, collegiate bronze for post-secondary education, and bronze for secondary education. The Governor General's Medal is awarded to the student who graduates with the highest standing in his or her class. This year, the recipient of the Governor General's Silver Medal is Carly Vanderlaan. Carly excelled in the academic area right from year one at Redeemer. She graduates with a Bachelor of Science Honours Degree, majoring in kinesiology and minoring in biology, while earning the highest cumulative GPA in the 2020 graduating class. Carly's professors describe her as a leader among her peers with a strong faith and a heart for others. She's always an active participant in class, offering insightful and informed contributions that enrich others and the course material. Her work ethic is outstanding, and she regularly takes opportunities to volunteer in a variety of capacities at Redeemer. She always presents a genuine, bright, positive, and kind demeanor, even in the face of challenges. Carly actively looks for ways to help others, engage in departmental research, and even offer assistance to faculty when she sees the opportunity. Carly is a well-deserving recipient of this award. Congratulations, Carly, on the significant and well-deserved achievement. To the 2020 graduates of Redeemer University, I offer a hearty congratulations. You have persisted. You have succeeded. We are so proud of you and your accomplishments thus far. Congratulations to the award winners, Aidan Schatt and Carly Vanderland, for honors well deserved. We wished for you to have a graduation ceremony in May, as is typical. Unfortunately, circumstances beyond our control prevented that. Indeed, this has been a year like no other. While we might have hoped for peace, predictability, and normalcy, 2020 has instead offered turmoil, challenge, and disruption. In response, social media has been replete with creative photoshopped memes of Iggy Pop as Jennifer Aniston, playground slides seemingly turned into cheese graters, and a host of screaming women with snarky cat dialogues. These are humorous attempts to deal with the real challenges that the world is facing, challenges that we all are facing. While the world has changed and will continue to change in ways that we have yet to fully realize, you are well equipped for what lies ahead. Your education provides you with knowledge, experience, creative and thinking skills to address the challenges and opportunities before you. The old proverb, necessity is the mother of invention, is so appropriate for 2020. We are faced with so many needs around us. It is a time when innovation and invention are desperately needed. You have the tools, skills, and education to make a real difference in a world that so desperately needs you. I want to tell, talk briefly about the Old Testament story of Joseph. As you may remember, he was a favored son, and his brothers, out of jealousy, sold him into slavery in Egypt. He ended up being a servant in Potiphar's house and gained some uh, support there. Ultimately, because of false accusations, he ended up in jail. God had a plan for Joseph's life. Even in the difficult situations, he had a plan. Joseph ended up being in a high post underneath Pharaoh. Years later, Genesis chapter 50 
tells the account of him encountering his brothers who had come to Egypt seeking food. These are the same brothers who had sold him into slavery. Verse 19 says, But Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. It's wonderful to see how God has prepared you through your education and your experiences, and he has brought you to where you are today. It will be exciting to see what you do in the future. The difficult circumstances, the challenging times, you're prepared, and God has a plan. To the class of 2020, you've made it. You've worked hard. You've persevered. You've reached an important milestone. It doesn't matter if you come from a long line of family members who have achieved academic success or, like me, you are the first in your family to earn a university degree. This is something that you have achieved that will benefit you and the world around you for the rest of your life. The many hours of classroom instruction, long study sessions, the papers written, projects completed, chapel services, dorm devotionals, the practices, the athletic events, the daily trek to Tim's for your caffeine fix, wheeling your cart to the market for groceries and midnight breakfasts and all of your experiences have helped to shape you into the person you are today. Many of the friendships you've made with fellow students and with staff and professors will last a lifetime. For some, this is the conclusion of your formal education. For others, it is only an important next step. Regardless, you will continue developing as a person, and we trust that your time at Redeemer University will have helped to establish a solid foundation for you, a foundation for a life of service to others, and as an agent of positive change and restoration to a world that needs you. Graduates, this day is about recognizing you. But I'd also like to take a moment to, real, to recognize some other important people today. Most of you would not have graduated without the support of your family, whether it is parents, grandparents, a spouse, or other relatives who have supported and encouraged you. They are an important part of this story. Make sure that you thank them. I would also like to recognize the role that members of the faculty and staff have played in pre preparing you. These men and women have invested in you. They have given you some of the most precious resources that they have, that is, their time and knowledge. And I would also say they have prayed for you. They care about you, and they have done their best to help prepare you for what comes next. Remember them and the relationships you have formed, and please stay in touch. Just because you have graduated, your relationship with Redeemer University is not over. Finally, I would like to congratulate you, Redeemer University graduates. Please stand where you are if you're able. Family members, friends, and members of the faculty and staff, let us congratulate the Redeemer University Class of 2020. Would you join me in a closing prayer? Father, we thank you so much for the time that these graduates were at Redeemer University together, for all the friends that they have made, for all the days of laughter and fun, for even those days when they struggled and cried and mourned and for all the times of great discovery and learning. We thank you for all who have given of their energy and skill so that these men and women of faith can graduate today. For professors and mentors, members of staff, and our family and loved ones, we thank you for them and give them all to you in prayer. 
As this chapter of their lives closes, so a new one begins. May they present themselves like an open book before you. Come and scribe your words of life upon the pages of their lives. Fill their minds with your thought. Fill your, their bodies with your strength. Fill their hearts with your dreams. That they all might eternally love and serve you this day and throughout all the days of their lives. We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen.